Now new at six, controversy swirling tonight, months after the sale of the Miami Marlins. Jeffrey Loria sold the team in October for $1.2 billion. Well, today he told Miami-Dade taxpayers he owes them nothing in return. And now Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez is threatening to go to court. CBS 4's David Sada is live at Marlins Park in Little Havana with the story. David? Yeah, Elliot, Miami-Dade County and the city of Miami were supposed to get 5% of the profits here at the sale of the ballpark. Loria's accountants provided a document today saying that they are owed zero. It is fascinating. In fact, he's actually saying, you owe me money. It is another tale in this wild story about this infamous ballpark. He's telling the community is he, he got away with it all. Call it hard feelings. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez angry over the 2008 Marlins ballpark deal and former owner Jeffrey Loria. That continues to stink. You know, he, really, he really didn't care about the community. He doesn't care about the community. Didn't really didn't care about the community to begin with. The deal was Loria got a new stadium in Little Havana for the Marlins for next to nothing. In exchange for guaranteeing not to move the team, Loria promised he would give the county and city 5% of the profits if the team was sold. Last year, Derek Jeter's group agreed to pay $1.2 billion. Not a bad return for a team Loria bought in 2002 for $158 million. But instead of showing a billion dollar profit, Loria's accountants show he lost 141 million in the deal. They factor in taxes, debt, and for a bizarre reason, capping the value of the team to about 625 million, roughly half of what it sold for. This thing is a debacle. It's an embarrassment for the community. Auto tycoon Norman Brayman, a critic of the ballpark from the start, is disgusted. The county is guilty of negligence. Brayman not only blames the previous mayor that he successfully ousted out of office, but County Hall for not doing their job. It's letting the wolf escape. There is no reason in the world why the county did not make a demand between the time the sale was announced and the closing. We asked the mayor why they didn't have a seat at the table before the team was sold. I'm not sure we could have been at the table. And so the blame lies with how the contract language was written. And that was written way back, okay, way before me. Mayor Jimenez has ordered his legal team to look through the deal. How does this end? Don't know. It uh, may, may end in court. It'll drag on for years and years and years, and nothing's going to happen. We expect an answer in the next 30 days as to what the county's going to do. There's some irony in all this. There's $50 million sitting in an escrow account. That was the money that was going to go to the county and city to pay out their profits. That now is headed towards Jeffrey Loria. Outside Marlins Ballpark, David said of CBS 4 News.